everyone, and welcome to the Teresa Joubert Show. You're listening to me live on A1R Psychic Radio. Happy Thursday evening, and thank you for joining me today. We've got a very interesting topic to cover this evening. We're going to talk about why you shouldn't use Ouija boards and what happens when you do use them the wrong way. <laughs> So you're tuning in to a very interesting, controversial topic this evening about one of the spiritual tools that a lot of people rely on to communicate with the other side. But is this safe? How can we be connecting with the other side? And what is a way that we can be doing this in a safe way? I will be taking two callers tonight, so you're welcome to, to call in. So the reasons why we don't want to be using a Ouija board for connecting with the other side is that there is a preparation that needs to take place spiritually and energetically before we connect to our loved ones on the other side. And it is very much the same as prepping a room for painting. You're going to want to tape the baseboards up. You're going to want to prep everything up, sand the walls up and have it ready to go. Are you not? If you just start painting, you're not going to have a very good outcome. So it is very much the same with connecting to the other side. There are steps, there is preparation to take place so that you can have the best possible outcome. Just another analogy is that if someone is getting a roof fixed and they don't have the proper equipment to, to put down those shingles, uh, you're going to have a leaky roof. So the prep tools that I would like to suggest that people use to connect to the other side are visualizations. And there are other tools that we can use to raise our frequency, to raise our vibration, so that we have the best possible connection to the other side. What you wanna do before you connect to loved ones on the other side is to set a prayer, to say a prayer, to ask for protection, to ground yourself, to visualize grounding yourself into Mother Earth like a tree with roots, and to visualize connecting to God's light. This is a feeling of love, of unconditional love, and just having an intention of having your consciousness connect up to source consciousness. And it's incredibly important to quote unquote plug in to these two energies to have a source of energy flowing through your body before connecting to the other side. And the reason for this is very similar to having a flashlight. It's like we're all a bunch of flashlights <laughs> operating on battery power. When you're connecting to the, the other side and loved ones on the other side, you want to be plugged in. You want to be a lamp that is plugged in, that has bright light shining so that the frequencies coming through are awesome and positive and absolutely coming from good places on the other side. The other tools that I love to use for connecting is to use a candle. So you can light a white light candle. If you don't have access to a white light candle, it's simply an intention of turning on an inner light inside of yourself. That is the point of all this. So I just brought a little example of a little light that I like to use because I've got little kids. So you can go ahead and turn on a little, a little lamp like this, a little light. But the intention is to just have something that you have that's turned on to set an intention that we're connecting to a space of love on the other side, that we are asking for protection. And I always have this go-to tool that I would love to give to everyone tonight as a gift. And I'm sure some of you already know this, and that is the tool of Archangel Michael. He is this beautiful angel that looks like Fabio. <laughs> Picture him with a sword and a shield. And he's standing there ready to protect you, to keep you feeling safe. It is so important to feel safe when we are connecting to our loved ones on the other side. We need to be able to feel comfortable and know that we are in a safe place with them, that we have feelings of comfortable and safety. So before we connect to our loved ones, we want to be grounded. 
connected to source energy and asking for a prayer of protection and just to be plugged in. So when you are connecting to the other side, it is important to raise your vibration as much as possible. Tools to help with raising the vibration are things like gemstones. Like for example, the necklace that I'm wearing made from rose quartz, this helps to raise my vibration. I'm always having bracelets on me. These have an energy that flows through the body and I always wear it on my less dominant hand. So the energy can flow around through my heart space. So I want to encourage you to have some tools. These are tools to balance your energy field, to raise your vibration, to seal your aura, and keep your chakras open in a very healthy way. So it's just awesome to have these tools because we don't need to be in a place of fear when we're connecting to the other side. In fact, when we are in a place of fear and we're connecting to the other side, it is very similar to either swimming in a clean pool of crystal clean salt water versus walking through the swamp with a whole bunch of leeches in it. <laughs> Which one would you rather go in? Hmm, I don't know about you, but I'd rather choose the clean pool. <laughs> Thank you very much. So when you're connecting to the other side, you definitely don't want to be in a fear space. And some of the issues that I have with the shows of hauntings and things like that that are on TV, they usually portray the other side as a space to be afraid of. And that is exactly the opposite of what we want to be putting out there to the universe. <laughs> because when we're connecting to the other side, we're connecting to a space of unconditional love and a feeling of support, emotional support. And that's the whole point of doing these shows is to give all of you emotional support from our space of being able to share our abilities and our gifts to give you guidance, advice, and, and more clear direction in your life. So I wanna encourage you to not be afraid to try to give yourself space from these shows about hauntings Try not to sit in a place of fear because when we are connected to feelings of fear and we are intuitive, bright shining beacons of light, our auras shine brighter than the average person when we're highly intuitive. Our aura shines bright. Therefore, we're these shining bright beacons of light and everyone in spirit can see your aura. They can see what you're capable of they know what you're able to do. They know what your capabilities are with your sixth sense. And a lot of times our loved ones will try to come through, through either us or someone else to try and play phone call, phone tag, to try to make amends. They'll try to tell us that they're okay, that they made it, that they're at such a feeling of peace, that they are healthy, and more importantly, that that they're okay. They just want us to know that, that they're okay. And sometimes, sometimes we're holding very, well, most of the time, we're holding very heavy emotions toward our loved ones that have passed. It might be guilt, guilt of feeling like we didn't do enough, guilt from a conversation that we had, guilt from not being able to say goodbye. Whatever it is that's sitting heavy in us, our loved ones will try to come through to try and resolve this, to try and create a feeling of peace so that we can move forward with our life in a more light, emotionally light, and a more emotionally free perspective. And that gives us the gift of better emotional health, which then ripple effects into better physical health. So being able to connect with our loved ones through our sixth sense in a safe way with a little prayer, connection, feelings of safety, and using tools like essential oils, sound therapy with chimes or singing bowls. This always helps to clear the frequency and raise the frequency. Um, these crystal singing bowls are absolutely fabulous if you can get your hands on one of those. <laughs> I have a regular singing bowl and that suits me just fine. 
but I usually use it to clear the energy because we can have really heavy energies just from existing in our house, from raising our voices at each other, from feeling frustrated, <laughs> from feeling hard on ourselves for things that we haven't done or that we want to do. And that can create a vibration of heaviness that lingers and sits in our space. And we don't want that there when we're connecting to the other side necessarily. We don't want that residual energy sitting there. So it's really important to create a space that is elevated. So having an essential oil diffuser in the background is a great idea or using an essential oil spray just before you connect. These are all tools that help us to raise our frequency and connect to the other side in a way that is amazing. It is a space of lifted, elevated, open, safe, very loving and and just very peaceful. So that's the space that we want to be connecting in when we're connecting to our loved ones on the other side. And I just want you to know that they can hear and feel all of your thoughts, all of the feelings that you have, the perspective that you have in your heart about them. They can feel that. They can feel all of that. So be mindful, <laughs> maybe just be mindful. If there's something that's sitting heavy in your heart about a loved one that's passed, I really want to invite you to release that this evening. Just maybe do a quick review and have an intention of wanting to try to release that, to, to give yourself peace. I know that this is something that will give them such a feeling of peace on the other side because they won't be connected to us to a feeling of heaviness. They'll be connected to us from a feeling of love instead. And that is a huge gift that we can give ourselves and our loved ones is just trying to have an intention of releasing any guilt, of releasing any shame, of releasing any heaviness that needs to be forgiven. So on that note, I am going to take my first caller. We have Janice in Meridian, Mississippi. Welcome, Janice, and thanks for calling in. Hello, how are you? Am I on the air? Can anybody hear me? You are, my dear. I can hear you just fine. <laughs> you sound adorable. Okay, can other people hear me? Yep, everybody can, can other hear people you. hear me? Okay, okay, okay. Check. okay here. <laughs> can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I think this happens a lot, actually, when we're connecting to our loved ones on the other side. <laughs> you want to hear something funny, oh, really? Janice? Yeah, this sure. is hilarious. Oftentimes, when I'm connecting to loved ones on the other side, somebody will come through to just check things out first, like maybe a grandfather or... um a grandmother, but usually it's it's somebody that's just kind of trying to see if I'm for real, if this whole thing is for real, if it's safe, and then and then the star of the show will come through, and the person that that person really wanted to talk to will pop through in spirit, and we'll have the most delicious um, <laughs> conversation of heartwarming reunion, and and it's just awesome. So it's it's just funny how that reminds me of how it's almost like sound check. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I think there's a delay on my lips, which is also very annoying. So we'll try to get that fixed for next week. But it's funny how we're like, hello, hello. Can you hear me? And how people in spirit will very much just check things out to make sure. Well, this that... is why I called. Um, I, um, I called because um, this guy that I like, I just want to make sure he's the, the, he's the one. Um, I just want to see, are we going to be together? Yes or no. Um, mm. That's all I was looking for. Um, his name is um, Dwayon Altman. Rashad Dwayon Altman. That's all I want to mm. know. I just want to know, are we going to be together That's all, as a couple? Yeah. Now, I have to be really honest with you, and, like, I want to tell you what you want to hear, but when you ask me this, I get this, like, heavy sinking feeling in my solar plexus, which isn't a very good feeling, and then I get this sensation of, like, 
rain or melting or like my exterior is melting and that's not necessarily a good um psychic projection of what you're asking me for it's almost like a like a bad gut feeling and like like something is uh like the reality that you're showing me is is melting so Sometimes we really want things really, really badly. And the feeling that we have in ourself is a feeling of like, almost like clawing at life, like a feeling of desperation. And in that space, in that energy, we're actually pushing away what we want. So I want to encourage you to look at this relationship from instead of vibration of gratitude and love and instead sort of beam out light from yourself, from your solar plexus, because I might be picking up on feelings of unworthiness or like not feeling like enough or not getting enough love from your own core self, or maybe your inner child is not getting enough love and attention from your own self. I wanna make sure um, Janice, that this is getting addressed first before before clinging on to this hope for an exterior relationship. And I say that with a lot of compassion for your inner child. And what I mean by that is the three-year-old version of you that is inside of your soul, that is wanting to be loved, that is yearning for attention, that is yearning for attention from you and acceptance and love and acceptance from you. And what I mean by that is, is how you're speaking to yourself, how you're going about speaking to yourself throughout your day. And it's very common for so us not to be to clear. Have, once I get that out of the way, you're saying that me and him will be together, like we might have a chance? I, I think you have a much stronger chance when you're addressing with love your inner child when you're boosting up your own solar plexus we which is your power center yeah, it yeah. so i want to make sure that that you're solid on your own and that and that you're sending okay. out feelings yeah. of gratitude and and i want to invite you to ask spirit to ask spirit to help you with this and visualize yourself with this person with feelings of gratitude like it's already happened Okay. Rather than this, like, that we're always hungry... together. Yes. Yeah. That is how we manifest and, and use the law of attraction in a healthy way, in the healthiest way possible to really magnetize the future that we want. When we're moving from a place of, of desperation and like, oh, I really, 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 really want this. Please, can it happen? It's, it's like, it's a grabby. It, it's like a fish hook. It's like we're trying to send out, it feels, it doesn't feel good. It feels tight. It's like we're trying to squeeze sand and it's slipping through our fingers. So instead, okay. instead, and I'm so glad that you called in because this is an incredible tool that will change your life in other areas as well. You want to picture yourself in the future timeline that you want and, and picture yourself with all the five senses or even maybe the six senses. <laughs> feeling really empowered, feeling loved, feeling supported, feeling like you are taking care of yourself, like you're speaking really kindly to yourself and, and that you're in this relationship exchanging love and you're sending out feelings of gratitude like it's already happened. And then the next step is to visualize pulling that future closer to you and asking spirit to help you to get there, okay? And they can help you with synchronicities, and things to help you to get there faster. And just a little secret tip, <laughs> little secret tip is that men really love when they can play the hero role for us. So if there's something that you can get him to help you with, if there's some advice that you need on your vehicle or whatever it is where he can feel like a hero, please give him that opportunity to, to help you, to give you that advice, to, to feel like a man. And, and try that energy technique instead. And please be mindful. Please be very, very mindful. And just, it's like radical self-compassion. Very, very kind to your inner self. Like you're speaking to a three-year-old version 
of Janice. Okay. Very kind to yourself and Thank sending you. out gratitude. Thank you so Can much. Can you do this? Can so you are you going to call me next week? Yes, absolutely. I will. Are you going to call me next week? Am I going to call you next week? <laughs> I think it works the other way around. If you want to check out my website, um, I'm here to support you. My my website is called Teresa Medium Readings. Um, you can always connect with me to book a reading. Are you asking me if he's going to call you next week? Is that what you're asking me? Or are you asking? I didn't quite catch that. Well, is he going to call me next week? Because I know he finally, you know. Oh, is he, he going to call you like next he... week? Now, just so you know, my specialty is connecting to loved ones on the other side and reading your aura and giving you tools to be able to get to the future timeline that I see in your highest possible good. So I've given you the tools to be able to get there. If you want him to call you next week, I would suggest that you use the hero tool of asking for some kind of advice and some some kind of guidance okay so i want to give you that tool and just let you know that we're kind of running out of time so i want to thank you for calling in and wish you the best of luck and please use those tools and take them to heart and be very kind to yourself janice and i wish you the best of luck okay all thank right you, lovely. yeah you're welcome take care Okay, so I just want to do a quick announcement in between calls that tomorrow night I have a special event running that you can get yourself a ticket for on eventbrite.ca and that is Messages from Spirit. So if you want to check out Teresa Joubert on Eventbrite, you can check out Messages from Spirit. It's a September spiritual event and you can join in on Zoom and get yourself a private reading and you can also get a video upgrade so that you can watch this later and share it with your loved ones on the other side. So you're welcome to check out TeresaMediumReadings.com and get yourself the link to Eventbrite if you need it to be a little bit easier. But I would love to see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. on Zoom and get yourself a ticket. Okay, so we are going to get our, our next caller. Amber, welcome. For, thank you for calling in, Amber. Hello. Hi. Just a heads up, we have three minutes. I apologize. We have not too much time. What can I help you with? Um, that's okay. It uh, should be a quick one. Um, so I kind of need to know if I'm on the right path with purchasing a new vehicle at this time. Mm, I get a yes, and I keep seeing the color red. <laughs> I'm like, I hope I'm not projecting my wishes onto you, but um, yeah, red, <laughs> red's like fiery and feisty. I see, uh, I see an SUV. It looks kind of compact-ish. Um, I know that right now is kind of a difficult time to be navigating vehicles. I feel like it's very important to be mindful of um, its driving capacity with stopping before you know, like you know how it needs to like have a stop alert so that if you're not paying attention your vehicle stops automatically for you mm -hmm. in fact i have a grandfather in spirit and he's saying the words mom and he is very adamant on you being safe <laughs> being very safe yeah. when you're driving so he's all for it he's showing me dimes and coins so if you've been seeing a lot of coins lately that's him trying to say yes <laughs> Yes, it feels like it's important to be mindful of um, of the cost and whether you've got enough ins and outs to be able to pay for this long term. But it feels like you're getting something that's sort of like um, not too expensive and manageable mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. safe. Like it's got some sensors in it. And I know that sometimes yeah. it can take a little while for those sensors to come through because of the shortages and sensors from all over the place. So my suggestion is to get your order in <laughs> as soon as possible so that you can get your vehicle of choice and hopefully it will be at a price point that you can afford. But I definitely feel a big yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Big, big yes. Yeah. So sometimes okay. it's like, Perfect. It's, like it's like jumping off a cliff and we're like, ah. 
Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like exactly. Like, I mean, do I have a parachute? Like, am I going to be able to keep my job? Is this going to be okay? I feel, I feel yes. I feel like a big security blanket, like a weighted blanket. Like, I don't know if you have a weighted blanket for sleeping, but I know that people sleep amazing with weighted blankets, but um, that's the metaphor that I get. It feels, it feels safe, it feels comfortable, it feels necessary. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like it's necessary to keep you safe in the future for driving. Yeah, so mm -hmm. just make sure that you're not texting, you're not checking your phone um, at all <laughs> while you're driving, because this, this man in spirit is like, tell her, tell her right now. <laughs> Okay. Okay. He's like, mm, okay. don't be doing this. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes we're just grabbing for a drink. We're grabbing for a purse. We're trying to get something from our purse and we're not really like paying attention. We're looking, but we're not paying attention. So he's trying to tell you, I'm going to try my best to keep you safe, but really need you to, to be paying attention.